This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hello, it's Echo, just in case you're new here. So a few months ago, a YouTuber that I watched called Mac Does It bought a bunch of those ridiculous rainbow paint set things from the 90s. I have so many vivid memories of watching the stupid commercial with the rainbow paint set and I wanted one. But I was a poor child and my mother did not trust infomercials. But now I'm an adult and I can do what I want. I have my own money. Turns out they just sell them on Amazon. Open this freaking box. I know that things are never as good as they look in the commercials, but when Mac was painting with this, it looked real bad. But he does comedy, not art. So I want to know what this can do in the hands of someone who has like a handful of skill in the art department. So we're gonna make some rainbow art. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so these came out in May of 2000. So this wasn't the 90s. This was like the beginning of the 2000s. This is a product that binds the 90s kids to the 2000s kids. Here we go. Okay, so here's the fancy box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Seems pretty kid friendly. Ooh, there's the brushes. All right, how to use the rainbow art. Moisten the sponge with room temperature water. Both sides of the sponge can be used. Dampen the brush on the wet sponge. Apply the colors by rubbing the brush back and forth on the colored blocks at a 45 degree angle. Be sure that you have enough color on the brush surface. About rainbow art. This excellent tool teaches young children early strategies of color and design, as well as making everyone an artist. That's a bold claim. Patented in the United States in 1994, Rainbow Art is the only product where you can simultaneously pick up several colors on one brush without mixing the colors. Rainbow Art is non-toxic, fast drying, and completely water soluble. So it is a watercolor. Okay, cool. Where's my water? Let's, uh, oh, does this come out? Oh, it just comes out. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's start here. I feel like the sponge isn't actually absorbing any of the water. I'm also gonna actually be using watercolor paper because I have it, and hopefully that will make this come out okay. All right, how do I even, uh, I guess it looks like four, so they're kind of having you do it like halfway. Let's try that. Um, we'll do these four, because these ones look like the strongest. And try really mixing it in there. Okay, ready? That's nice. Not as vibrant as I would like it to be, but still not bad. So I just want to do like a circle like they do. Oh, you definitely have to refresh your paint between strokes. That's kind of cool though. It really is just watercolor though. Honestly, it kind of sucks that it's patented because I really want like a professional watercolor company to do this. Although they give you a lot of watercolor. How much painting do they think I'm going to do? Fancy. It is kind of fun. I don't know why I'm doing so many watercolors recently. Let's just do two colors. I feel like the trick is that you really, really have to mix the water in. The red is taking over the yellow. This is a problem. Honestly, I'm kind of having fun with this. I don't even know what I'm doing. This watercolor is surprisingly hardy. Like it's turning into some really intense paint. What colors are the bi flag? Is that close enough to the, oh, it's upside down. Oops, there, what about that? I mean, that's so close. I feel like this is only good for like super abstract stuff. Okay, there's one, two, three, so. Let's see if I can blend these out. 
kind of the trans flag. Now I want to break it. This isn't really a rainbow. Now it's pride colors. I underestimated this product. Okay, where is my washi tape? Let's see how it handles with washi tape. again it's blue and purple all right i'm gonna try and make this as vivid as is possible Look at that. Okay, I have one more sheet of paper. accidentally mixed, but that is okay. That is really cool. That was surprising surprisingly therapeutic. Not as much of a waste of money as I thought it was gonna be. The internet art community could do so much with this. Why do we not all have rainbow art sponges? I used up two rolls of washi tape playing with this. I think the conclusion of this video is that we should all buy rainbow art sponges and also check out Squarespace. Squarespace has an all-in-one platform where you can create beautiful websites without having to install, patch, or upgrade anything ever. If you're not a professional web designer or you don't know how to code, Squarespace is great because they have a wide variety of templates you can start with and they're continually updating their templates on offer. And they have an online store system so that you can manage your products, orders, and inventory more easily. Easily, which can be really great if you want to have an independent website for your commissions. I wanted to make a website example for this video, but I was really busy so I had my dog Ben make one. However, my roommate's dog Nana said that the website was wrong and needed to be fixed. So if you want to see the updated website, you can go to whoisbestboy.com, a website made by my house dogs. Or if your pets would like to make their own website, you can go to squarespace.com and hook them up with a free trial. And then when you realize how quick and easy it is to set up a Squarespace site, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash Echo Gillette and get 10% off your first purchase. Discounts for everyone. You get a discount and you get a discount. Also, if you do make a website with Squarespace, please send it to me. 
just because I want to see it. But I think that is everything for now. I'm gonna go get some food and then go watch terrible movies with my friends. I'm gonna give you 700 awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video and hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. Bisexual flag for my bisexual friend. <laughs>